Hey Audacious Church, welcome to Audacious Devotionals. I hope you are all well and that you're having an awesome week so far and summer as well. Um, my name is Nav and I'm part of the North Location team and I'm also finishing off second year in Audacious College. So today I'm privileged and I'm honoured uh, to be sharing today's devotional with you. And so I hope you've got your choice of beverage with you, your coffees, teas, waters, your um, smoothies. Uh, I mean, I don't know what you normally have during these uh, devotionals. It may be a Prosecco, it may be um, a glass of champagne, I don't know. But you do you, you do what you do. But most importantly, I hope you've got your journals and I hope you've got your Bibles with you today. So let's get stuck into the word and um, look at what look at today's devotional so during lockdown i was looking at characters in the bible um who have been through some type of lockdown um where they were isolated or 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 quarantined as such in in some some type of way so there's an old testament character that that i came across who was who was in lockdown for almost up to a year. I think it was only a couple of days off a year. I mean, I don't know what he was doing during that time when, while he was preparing for the lockdown. You know, maybe he was queuing up at Sainsbury's or Aldi um, with his shopping trolley wearing a mask and his gloves um, or, and, and shopping for toilet roll and hand sanitizer, which, which went crazy um, in, in 2020. Um, so yeah, but Boris Johnson, our Prime Minister, was the one who closed the doors on our favourite places, our uh, places, of, um, places of worship, um, coffee shops, restaurants and gyms also. I mean, those are the things that I absolutely love doing, um, going to church, um, going to the gym, going to coffee shops and restaurants and just, just having, just socialising with people. But in Genesis... 7 verse 16 it says then the lord then the lord closed the door so who is this character that I'm, that I'm speaking about so this character from the old testament is noah so i've entitled this devotion noah and the ark of quarantine um so yeah let's be, let's get stuck into this so what must noah and his family have been gone would have gone through in the ark what must have noah and his family gone through in the ark it rained for the first time ever. There was no rain before then. It rained for 40 days and 40 nights. The ark would have been bashed about from all sides by mighty waves crashing into it. So Noah and his family and his animals would have been rocked in the boat and falling all over the place. The, and they more than likely would have been doubting their survival. You know, they would have had cabin fever. You know, Noah would have gone through anxiety, worry and fear. For the lives of his family um, and so today's key text that we want to look at is from Genesis 6 verse 14 but as I mentioned about the rain so the rain for 40 days and 40 nights so even after the rain stopped Noah waited waited and waited until the ground was dry so in Genesis 6 verse 14 it says make yourself an ark of gopher wood make rooms in the ark and cover it inside and outside with pitch. So I just wanted to break this verse down a little bit and just go into, just go into a little bit more detail, good to just delve into it a little bit more to get, to get some sort of deeper meaning out of it. So let's look at the word gopher wood. So gopher wood, due to its density and strength, was the wood used to make coffins. So gopher wood was used to make coffins. In Matthew 16, verse 24, it says, Then Jesus said to his disciples, Whoever wants to be my disciple must deny themselves and take up their cross and follow me. So salvation starts with death. Salvation starts with, with death. And it begins when we say, I'm dying to myself. I no longer want to live my way but lord i want to live your way so let your will be done not mine so salvation starts with death and then the verse speaks about make rooms in the ark the word rooms 
in Hebrew translates to the word nests, like birds' nests. Just as the ark had plenty of rooms, so does the kingdom of God. So 1 Corinthians 13 verse 12 says, For now we see only, the ref only a reflection as in a mirror. Then we shall see face to face. Now I am in part, then I shall know. Now I know in part, then I shall know fully, even as, an, even as I am fully known. So now I know in part, then I shall know fully, even as I am fully known. So the other two words I want to look at is pitch and cover. So the word pitch in Hebrew is the word kofa. And in Hebrew, it, the word is actually, what it means is, 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 tar, is tar that we use on our roads. So, so that, that the word pitch is tar that we use on our roads. But the word that really um, I want to delve into and look into today is the word cover. The word cover in Hebrew is the word kaufar. And it means, it, the word is used for atonement of covering or covering of sins. It's, it's used for atonement or covering of sin. Um, so the other meanings that are looked in, in, in the dictionary about this is, it, it says to cover, purge, make an atonement, make reconciliation, to pacify, to propitiate, win or regain the favour of a God, spirit or person by doing something that pleases them. And... And secondly, another meaning of it is to make right a wrong, to make right a wrong. So who is the covering of our sins? In 1 John 2 verse 2, it says, He is the atoning sacrifice of our sins, and not only of ours, but also for the sins of the whole world. So now we're looking at Noah's Ark and the word cover, which is kofar, to be, to, to be an atonement. Or a covering of sin. So Noah's Ark is actually a type of Jesus. Noah's Ark is actually a type of Jesus. Because Noah was in the Ark, he was in Jesus. So even if Noah fell while he was in, while he was in the boat, while he was in the Ark, he would have fell in the boat, not outside. He would have felt in Jesus, not outside of Jesus. And I was just looking at a comparison that someone made about Noah and Jesus. They say Noah held a hammer to build the ark. Jesus absorbed the blows of a hammer upon his hand. Noah built, the, Noah built with wood. Jesus was pinned to wood. Noah constructed a door. Jesus said, I am the door. Noah covered the ark with pitch. Jesus covers us with his blood. What an amazing thing. I mean, the Lord's grace and, and love for us just totally blows my mind every time I think about it. That Jesus came off his throne, not because he had to, but Jesus came off the throne because of his love for us. And, and I'm so glad that we are covered like Noah was covered that Noah's Ark was covered in Jesus, which was a type of Jesus, that we are covered in the blood of Jesus. And the second part um, I wanted to look at in Genesis was Genesis 6 verse 16, which, which says, You shall make a window for the Ark, and you shall finish it to a cubit from above. I mean, I don't know about you, I've not seen any ships or ferries or anything like that with windows windows above and not having windows on the side because most ships and ferries that we actually see have windows on the side so you can see what's going on you can see the views and everything else so why was the window above and not on the sides so Noah could Noah could actually look out I believe that God didn't want Noah to be constantly looking at the world and getting filled with fear with what was going on around him because there would have been a lot of devastation going on around him, a lot of death um, uh, around him. So God wanted Noah, I believe that God wanted Noah to be looking up to him and not looking at the world. God wanted Noah to look at him. And just like Peter, when Peter stepped out the boat, he was looking at Jesus. So he was walking on, the, he was walking on water. But when he started looking at the storm, 
that was when he started to sink. And I believe that even during lockdown, and I don't know about you, this is one thing that I, I've done for a long while, I don't watch the news. So I believe that even during that time, watching the news causes anxiety, worry and fear because all we hear is negativity, consistent negativity about what was going on during lockdown. And I believe that God wants us to look at him and God wants us to look at Jesus and not be watching, not, not be gaining all this fear from, from watching Sky News or BBC News. And what I love is this quote from Quarry Ten Boom, which says, if you look at the world, you'll be distressed. If you look at the world, you'll be distressed. If you look within, you'll be depressed. But if you look at Christ, you will be at rest. If you look at Christ, you will be at rest. What a, what a wonderful quote. And I just want to encourage you as I finish off today is to just say that we may be feeling, you know, during we, as we had just transitioned to coming out of lockdown, that, you know, we've had cabin fever, we've had anxiety, we've had worry and, and fear, you know, or just like Noah, he just had enough of uh, spending time in lockdown with his, 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 his all the animals uh, or, or the so-called families um, that we have, um, our housemates. But we may feel that our boat has been rocked during this time of lockdown or you know businesses have been affected and you know many many in many different ways people have been affected or we may feel like we're going off balance and 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 we may even fall at times but just like Noah who was in who was in the boat he was in Jesus and we are fully covered Jesus is our atonement of our sin he covers us so we are fully covered and maybe you're finding it hard transitioning from being in lockdown and now coming out of lockdown. Maybe you're finding that challenging. But Noah made it, Noah and his family made it through. Made it through the floods. Made it through lockdown. We also will make it through together. Noah's boat, Noah's in the boat of salvation and so are we. We are covered and we are in, we are are saved and we we have salvation and genesis 8 verse 16 says that after noah came off the boat he says god says come out of the ark genesis 9 verse 1 says be fruitful and multiply genesis 9 verse 7 says now be fruitful and multiply and the word that i really want to bring to you today um church is that the harvest is plentiful the harvest is plentiful because our God is great and he's a God of more and he can do abundantly and exceedingly more than we can even think or imagine. And I believe that coming out of lockdown, is this is the time that the harvest is plentiful, that we can speak to people, we can tell people about Christ, about what he's done in our lives. And in, in Revelation 12 verse 11, it says, and they overcame him by the blood of the lamb and the word of the testimonies. Testimonies are powerful. And I just want to encourage you church today that just be ready, be expectant to speak to people, whether that be in a coffee shop, whether that be, whether that be in a restaurant, whether that be on the bus or, or you're walking somewhere, that you make that time to for people and be expectant for God to work through you. Because for us, it's about the kingdom being populated, the kingdom being populated and, 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 and people being saved and being in heaven with us. So thank you so much for watching today's devotional. I'll, I just want to bless you. I just want, I just want to um, bless you that you have a wonderful and amazing day. I love you all and I look forward to, to seeing you soon. Thank you. Bye.